what is basically an ERP? An ERP as most of you might be aware is enterprise resource planning. Now it is a broad name for an integrated software solution that incorporates the key business functions of an organization like sales, production planning, finance, HR, etc. The main concept in ERP is to take the help of the system to develop organizational growth and profitability by enhancing customer service. So this as you can see is also the goal of supply chain management and logistics and this is also the goal of ERP. So thus to put it very short, ERP is something that will help the organization and its people to reach better heights in customer service thereby increasing the top line and the bottom line of the organization. So about 50 years ago Forrester introduced a theory of management that recognized the integrated nature of organizational relationships in management. So SCM or supply chain management has risen into prominence from the early 1990s. Now supply chain management is to put in simple terms what it is basically an integration of the upstream and the downstream linkages of an organization. Upstream means the suppliers from which you are buying, downstream are the customers for which you are buying. So it was gradually understood throughout the 60s, 70s and 80s and 90s that the more integrated an organization is in terms of its processes, the better its resultant success would emerge. So SCM was basically an offshoot of those developments in management thought. Now just one clarification, uh, logistics is also at times synonymously used with supply chain management. To clarify, logistics is a subset of supply chain management. It deals with the physical flow of material and information in the chain. There are other things which include procurement, planning, relationship management, development programs of suppliers and customers, etc. are part of supply chain but not a part of logistics. So logistics is an integral part of SCM. Now, three trends that have led to the demand for ERP which led to the growth of ERP across this time, some of them are functional integration of business, a key enabler towards SCM integration is ERP. Now organizations understood that functionally they have to be integrated to gain that competitive advantage which will distinguish their products and services in the market from another competitor. What we talk about is that age before ERP where accounts would have a different software, payroll would have another software, inventory data would be different, sales data would be different. It was all like haphazard and like spread across the organization. Then various people will give various sets of numbers. Now one of the key success factors for organization is having one set of numbers. If somebody asks what is the sales of product A in the month of July, that number should be one and only. There cannot be two sets of numbers, but in all these disintegrated scenarios, you would have more than one number which would lead to a lot of problem. Decisions can never be correct under those circumstances. So if you see the full potential of ERP, then you have the corporate office linking to the customers, various manufacturing units, vendors, regional offices, manu uh, various manufacturing plants. ERP just touches all the nerves of your organization.